Today we have received Samsung Galaxy A12, black screen, no display light. Plug in the charger to test. The phone is charging normally but there is no charging display on the screen. In our observation, we have a reflected image on the screen. It is necessary to disassemble the phone to make tests. Unplug the charger. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the fingerprint flex cable. Remove the screws with a screwdriver. Gently lift the motherboard cover with a metal pry blade. Take out the motherboard cover. Disconnect the battery and display flex cables. Let's try on the new display first. Connect the flex cables. Then connect the battery. Turn on the phone. The phone vibrates, indicating that it has turned on. As usual, nothing has been changed in the new display. Disconnect the battery and flex cables. From the FPC connector, the circuit connected to the light section can be seen on the left side of the CPU. Remove the screw, and antenna wires. Then take out the motherboard. Remove the cameras on the motherboard. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Remove the dust tape cover. Cover the CPU with heat resistant tape. Cut the small part of the metal shield that covers the light parts. Be careful not to damage the CPU. Clean the metal dust with a brush. Then remove the heat resistant tape. Remove the small part of the metal shield covering the light parts with the flyers. Take care not to damage the light components under the metal cover. Clean it with a brush. Let's take a look at the motherboard under the microscope. It can be seen that the coil has burned out, which is why the display has no light. Let's find out the reason why the light coil burned. Run diode mode measurement of the capacitors with a multimeter.
diode value of the capacitors was found to be normal. So since there is no indication of a short from the capacitors, let's try replacing the burnt light coil. Heat the light coil with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Remove the light coil with a tweezer. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux. Place the new light coil. Solder the light coil with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Run diode mode measurement of the capacitors with a multimeter again. After replacing the light coil, the diode value of the capacitors is still normal on the multimeter. Detach the motherboard into the PCB holder. Assemble the motherboard to test. Connect the display flex cable. Then connect the battery. Plug in the charger, so we can figure out how the light coil burned out. It can be seen that when the charger is plugged in, the light coil burns out again. Unplug the charger. Disconnect the battery and flex cables. Then take out the motherboard. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder again. Let's look at the motherboard again under the microscope. The light coil has burned again. If we notice that a large capacitor on the upper left has also burned, This is probably the reason why the light coil burned out. Let's replace the light coil and the capacitor. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux. Now, place a new light coil again and solder with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Next, place a new capacitor then solder it with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60.
Run diode mode measurement of the capacitors with a multimeter again to make sure there is no short circuit. Detach the motherboard into the PCB holder. Assemble the motherboard and connect the flex cables. Plug in the charger again. The charging logo is now visible on the screen. Turn on the phone. Samsung Galaxy A12 black screen, no display light has been successfully repaired. 